See, uh, as far as uh, radio in India is concerned, uh, one of the consistent uh, trends, of course, is that uh, the FM transmission uh, is increasing. Uh, within Akashwani also, we now cover close to about 60% uh, of India's uh, landmass uh, with FM transmissions. And uh, it's only going to grow further in the in the years to come. Uh, there's been a fair amount of government support uh, for more uh, FM transmitters as well. In terms of the content itself, uh, I think a little bit of... Uh, uh, focus on uh, uh, see modern music uh, on, on uh, news and analysis related articles uh, ideas like uh, you know uh, the subjects which people are covering in podcasts uh, self-generated content so these are the kind of things which are uh, uh, becoming very very popular across the audio medium and uh, we are trying to find ways uh, in terms of how to bring this content onto radio but at the same time, uh, also balancing uh, the overall uh, content uh, with uh, the traditional responsibility that, that we have in terms of public service content. Uh, we are also making the radio content available to people uh, uh, through other media. So it's not just that uh, you can hear it within the uh, radius of that radio transmitter. But you can also uh, go to the News on AIR app. Uh, radio channels are available on our Friedish OTT as well. Uh, Friedish um, uh, set-top box as well. And we are also now working on an OTT system where uh, again we propose to integrate uh, some of the radio channels. So uh, the idea is that we want to uh, retain our soul uh, in terms of uh, uh, the content that we've all grown up with. But at the same time, uh, make it more contemporary, make it more user-friendly, uh, repackage some of that content, present it in an attractive format, and then make it available to the audience in whichever medium, through whichever medium that they feel comfortable consuming that content. Sir, uh, so 2024, what is that one thing which will be very important for Prasad Bharti? So, Prasad Bharti has a very, very uh, wide footprint across the country. Uh, we have uh, uh, you know, TV channels across uh, almost all language, all major languages. We have uh, uh, about 250, 60 uh, radio channels. Uh, we are present on digital. We are now uh, stepping forth into uh, other streaming media as well. So the biggest challenge for us uh, is to bring together all of this into a coherent whole. And which is why consolidation and uh, a very, very strategic move forward in terms of uh, taking uh, the content, uh, the widest variety of content to the audience uh, through various media. That is, that is our continuing challenge.